Hello Twitch, hello YouTube, this is Captain Nav, I hope you are all doing well. Uh, welcome to this uh, new live stream today from uh, Soki in uh, Russia to uh, Moscow Domodedovo uh, in Russia as well, so it's an internal uh, Russian flight today. Right, so without further ado, um, I've got already the fuel on. Um, we can pretend to uh, refuel the aircraft. We'll see uh, outside the refueler will uh, come round, but the aircraft is already fueled up, so we can see uh, GSX says the fuel truck is on its way. So here we are in uh, Soki. It's uh, a rainy uh, afternoon in uh, Soki. I can see the cloud covering the the mountain. Soki is uh, obviously uh, famous for the uh, Winter Olympic Games uh, last year, I believe. So. Here is Soki Airport. It's quite a nice place. If you want to have a look at the flight plan, the flight plan is uh, available in the commands to follow along with what I'm uh, talking about instead of me just rambling on. Um, so having a look at the flight plan and the FMC, we kind of work in uh, together on this. So we're going from, uh, well, first of all, the Iden page, Boeing 737-800 uh, Whiskey Lima with the winglets 26K. The Iraq is correct until uh, today. Uh, and then uh, tomorrow we'll have to change the Iraq. And uh, a reference airport is URSS. And uh, to set the RS position, we go to GPS left. Put in the scratch pad, come back to page one and set it here. Then for the route, it's uh, URSS UUDD01, which is a route I saved uh, with the PFBX. And the flight number is uh, GLP1024. It's gonna be a runway uh, 24 out of uh, Soki. So now we can uh, check the uh, routing. So the routing is uh, just to double check that there's no mistakes uh, during the, the saving of the route. Uh, Lima Alpha to Romeo 114, Bravo Alpha, um, Golf 247 to Mimra. Bravo 145 to uh, Butri, Romeo 11 to uh, Papa Tango, Bravo 119 to uh, Fox Echo, and then Fox Echo 6 Tango to Alpha Oscar, and then uh, direct. So that's correct. We can activate and execute. Then what we'll do is uh, go to departure, runway 24, and it's the uh, Lima Alpha um, to Alpha departure, which, yeah, that's correct. Lima Alpha to Alpha departure, and uh, go back to the route, check everything is here. There's no discontinuity, and we can execute. So we go to uh, Nidep and uh, then to Lima Alpha. Well, that's fairly simple. Okay. If we look at uh, here is the plan mode. We go straight ahead to 500 feet and then we turn to Nidep and then up towards Lima Alpha. Cool. That's all set then on the uh, per finit I uh, will set the reserve which uh, the reserve how much is the reserve 2.2 okay or 2.3 cost index is 35 the cruise I believe is gonna be 35,000 uh, cruise wind is uh, at 257 at uh, 74. So 
So like always the cruise wind is the top of climb wind and this will determine the, the speed uh, uh, calculated by the FMC for, for the climb. Uh, top of climb temperature is minus 58. And transition altitude is uh, uh, 3700. Okay. Set. Uh, wrong button. The N1 limit will leave at that. Okay, so we'll come back to the perfinite to do the performance later on. So that's all good. And we'll come on the uh, MCP. Frag doctors come on. Heading for runway uh, 24 is 238. Call the boarding. And there's no initial level, so we'll uh, set fly level 100. And uh, that'll do. So the KNH 1019. Um, and now we can go up to the uh, all right panel. Your amper comes on, uh, fuel pumps on. We are fueled up, we can put the seatbelt sign on. Window heat comes on. Hello. Hydraulics come on. The packs will get them ready for the APU to start. 350 for the cruise. And the elevation in Moscow is about 600 feet, I believe. Yeah, that's correct, 600 feet. Base radiation mode selector to auto. And coming down the auto brake to RTO, speed brake down. Parking brake set, and the radios set 1 to 2. They simulate. And uh, the rest is good, it's on our departure, there's not really any uh, radials to follow. It's good. And after that, we can go. So, we'll do the performance. Uh, the performance, the zero fuel weight is uh, 57.9, I think. What did I say? Yeah, 57.9. Obviously at this stage we'll get the load sheet, but 57.9 with a fuel of 10.3 gives us a uh, takeoff weight of 68.2. And uh, we were planning on uh, 67.8 minus the taxi fuel, that makes sense. We can execute. I uh, will go 24k, I think there's a little bit of... Uh, Tailwind and uh, then for the takeoff, we'll go flaps 5. CG is given by uh, PMDG, then the speeds will take them as they are here 150. Actually. And we'll have a look at this one here. We can actually set it to wet. It's wet. So it's deleted the takeoff speeds, of course. Engine acceleration height is going to be 1000. And then we're going to accelerate at uh, 3000. So we'll use VNAV for, uh, for takeoff, which is, uh, which is quite good. Uh, so the V1 here is less, but the V2 is exactly the same. Uh, when the runway is wet, basically, because the runway is wet and it will take uh, uh, longer to stop, then the, the V1 is uh, is reduced to uh, to take into account that extra distance to stop if we need to stop for the takeoff. Right, Tio. So we'll start the APU. Wait for the APU to come online. In the meantime, we'll do the checklist. I believe everything is set up. So we can do the checklist. 
Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. IRS mode selector. Nav. Gear fins. Removed. Oxygen. Tested. Your damper. On. Navigation transfer and display switches. Normal auto. Fuel quantity. As required. Fuel pumps. On. Cabin alley power. On. Emergency exit lights. Armed. Passenger signs. On. Window heat. On. Hydraulics. Normal. Air conditioning and pressurization. Set. Pressurization mode selector. Auto. Instruments. Cross checked. Auto brake. RTO. RTO. Speed brake lever. Down. Parking brake. Set. Stab trim cutout switches. Normal. Wheel well fire warning. Checked. Radios, radar and transponder. Set and standby. Rudder and aileron trim. Three and zero. Take off refit. Completed. FMC CDU. Set. N1 IAS bugs. Set. Stab trim. Set. Flight set door. Uh, locked. Locked. Doors. Closed. Pre-flight checklist complete. Very good. So, uh, multi core experience has closed the doors that are all uh, asking to be opened and these ones are uh, closed as well. That's perfect. One last thing, which would be embarrassing. Uh, the APU is on the bus here, so as to disconnect all the ground equipment here. And uh, now we can use the FMC as uh, normal. So I'll do a last uh, check, there's no ATC. Nope. So I'll just uh, get it started on time. Fantastic. Before start checklist. Before start checklist. Hydraulics A pumps. Off. Packs. Off. Anti collision light. On. Parking brake. Set. Transponder. Off. Before start checklist complete. Very good. Right, let's call. Uh, My pleasure. First of all, withdraw the jetway and then call uh, GSX for the push. Uh, we're gonna go nose to the right, so num uh, yeah, nose to the right, tail to the left. Yeah. Number one, nope. So, because it's raining and it's about uh, seven degrees, we'll uh, use the uh, uh, wing anti ice for uh, takeoff. Here is somewhere down there. Cool. Locking gear. I don't see the guy, unless he's the guy speaking. That's it. 
Right, so clear to start the engines. Here we go, starting number two. We've got N2 rotation. So like always, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. We've got all pressure. We've got N1. Twenty-five percent. We uh, inject the fuels so to speak. Just try to arrange the legs page there. Yeah, that's better. There was a loop again. Cool. So we're pushing in the right direction, which is good. Star cut out, the red uh, line at the exhaust there is uh, going, so the engine is stable. We'll start engine number one, the star switch to ground, the N2 uh, starts rotating, parking brake set, oil pressure, and then the N1 starts uh, rotating as well. Five percent. Bring the fuel. Unlocking gear. It's a very nice scenery, actually. It uh, looks like a very, very nice place with the mountains in the background. So we're taking off towards the sea. It's uh, by the. It's situated on the on the coastline of the of the Black Sea, so just uh, north of uh, Turkey, I believe. Uh, if my geography is correct. And then we've got the mountains in land, so we're going to take off towards the sea. There's not really any uh, procedures towards uh, the mountains. Uh, number one is stable, so we can go to the overhead panel. The generators come on, probe it come on. And I'll put the start switch is continuous. And engine anti ice and wing anti ice on. For those of you uh, who are watching the YouTube channel, um, you you might be uh, aware of the triple uh, seven uh, engine uh, anti ice tutorial. Uh, I tried uh, the seven three seven in uh, icing conditions and things like that. Doesn't really seem to be picking up any uh, icing, um, which is uh, which is quite interesting, but. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be uh, picking up any icing because if you uh, switch off all the the pito heat and stuff, uh, it doesn't really do uh, any difference. Anyway, that's me too much talking. I uh, will get uh, cracking. I believe I've done everything. Yeah. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Generators on. Probe heat on. Anti ice on. Hydraulic A pumps on. Air condition set. Isolation valve auto. Engine start switches on. A P U off. Recall checked. Flaps. Set. Stab trim. Set. Start levers. On. Before taxi checklist complete. Cool. Excellent. Confirm altitude. Take it easy, Captain. Yep, yep. I'm taking it easy, mate. <laughs> oh, there's somebody at the gate. Ah, uh, there is indeed. Oh, very nice. It's an Airbus. Cool. Let's get going. Got the 
taxi light and runway turn off lights. Let's go. So we'll go straight ahead. Uh, it's gonna become November and then uh, turn uh, right on Romeo Lima. I will take an intersection takeoff when we are 2 4. Runway entry procedure. Cabin crew, take your seat. Before takeoff, checklist. Before takeoff checklist below the line. Before takeoff below the line checklist. Before takeoff below the line checklist. Engine start switches. On. MCP. Set. Transponder. Auto. Landing and strobe lights. As required. Landing lights. On. Before take off below the line. Checklist complete. Okay, cool. Let's go. Just about 40%. The wind is coming from the left. Take off. And off we go. Eighty knots. Check. V one. Rotate. Smooth rotation. Gear up. Gear up. Gear coming up. Gear up and locked. Set heading two five zero. Selecting heading two five zero. Set heading two five one. Setting heading two five one. Flaps one. Flaps one selected. Flaps up. Flaps going up. After takeoff flow. Ready for checklist. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Air condition and pressurization. Set. Landing here. Up and off. Auto brake. Off. 
Up, no lights. Up, no lights. Altimeters. Standard setting. After takeoff, checklist complete. Cool, so now it's quite a cool departure. Taking off towards the west, more or less, over the water, and then uh, going back uh, inland. I uh, will go all the way to uh, 350. We've got 350 set uh, three times. Still in cloud with the engine anti ice on, and the wing anti ice drops uh, straight away after takeoff. Ten checks, climb. Ten checklist. Excellent. So far, so good. Oh, it stopped snowing. Oh, very good. Fairly cold, fairly uh, cloudy, but stopped snowing. Not bad. Cool. Have a little look outside. It's quite a cool uh, livery, the uh, S7 uh, livery, kind of uh, lime, you know, the mix of green and yellow, really, more like yellow. It's quite cool. It's quite nice. I quite like it. It's quite funky. Oh, there's a little bit of weather here. I've not seen that. I was looking at the other screen. Of weather there. Interesting. I don't know if we'll be able to see anything or if the weather will be depicted in a certain way. No, not really, but uh, yeah, interesting. Oh, a bit of turbulence. We'll keep the passengers strapped in. speed is uh, varying a little bit and uh, I can see the uh, aircraft pitches uh, up and down what I will do 
Uh, we go speed intervention. Go decimal 76 and continue to climb like that. 76 is the kind of uh, turbulence penetration speed on the 737. Oh yeah, there's a lot of variation on the speed. Amazing. Although we are entering the, the jet stream, you know, the wind is uh, 74 knots. They uh, consider the jet stream starts basically when it's about 80 knots of wind, so we're quite close to a jet stream uh, wind uh, speeds there. 74 at the moment, they might be increasing, yeah, it's still increasing. So as we get uh, towards the, the jet stream, then there's that kind of uh, turbulent layer a little bit. Then sometimes once you are inside the jet stream or in the core, it's, it can be smooth. But uh, between like, you know, the kind of uh, layers between the, the core and the kind of uh, non-jet stream uh, levels, then that transition layer there is uh, very often quite... Uh, turbulent because the speed of the wind is increasing quite quickly as you uh, climb towards the uh, the core of the jet so uh, yeah it can be quite turbulent a lot of uh, wind shear So why this way today? Well, I've, um, I was quite fancying the idea of uh, flying into uh, Russia. There's a little bit of uh, Russian following on the YouTube channel as well. So just uh, to say uh, to say hi and uh, thank you uh, uh, to uh, to those guys. And uh, it will be quite interesting if uh, on arrival we get a bit of snow. Uh, we get uh, uh, quite cold temperatures as well. And uh, we'll uh, also have the uh, opportunity to uh, to show a little bit uh, how we can uh, work out in uh, meters uh, as the uh, the arrival uh, is flown on the on meters QFE. So there's there's a way to uh, kind of deal with that if you don't want to uh, fly in meters QFE, which most airlines don't really fly to. So we uh, we have some sort of uh, conversion table for altitudes in feet and uh, meters and kind of uh, also uh, for the QFE actually uh, we don't use the, the QFE we uh, convert the QFE to uh, uh, QNH and then get the uh, altitude uh, over the, uh, the airport so the QNH is the uh, elevation the kind of like sea elevation uh, altitude so um, in Moscow, the uh, altitude of the airport is uh, 600 feet above uh, sea level, and um, QNH is basically uh, based on uh, based on that. Uh, QFE is the height over the uh, the airport. Uh, so in Moscow, for example, uh, 1600 feet QNH is uh, a thousand feet uh, QFE, so a thousand feet above the airport, but 1600 feet above the sea. If you see, uh, So we'll be able to uh, to have a look at that a little bit, which, uh, which will be good. So it's a little bit less turbulent right, as we're trying to accelerate a little bit. We've got one to go. I will see how it goes later on for the seat belt. Really hoping for a little bit of snow in uh, Moscow today, but uh, it's on the forecast for like tempo periods of uh, snow for the the time of arrival. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see where we get. Just about leveling off now.
Yeah, between uh, 9 and uh, 1400, so that's that's pretty much now. It's 1027 now. Uh, go FMC speed, we have path. Yeah, between uh, 9 and 14Z, there's a uh, forecast for uh, temporary uh, uh, periods of um, 2000 meters in uh, showers of uh, moderate snow. And uh, then becoming at between 1400 and 1600, 1500 uh, meters in uh, moderate snow. So we might get a bit of snow with a, a bit of luck. We'll see how it goes. Top of climb, it looks uh, fairly smooth. attempt to uh, release the passengers. Seatbelt sign auto. Seatbelt signs. Auto. Cool. So yeah, you set it up. Yeah, which is nice. 